What is up there, the YouTube? Uh, Austin here with Sweeney TV uh, with some advice on being an ENFP. And in fact, I have five survival tips for ENFPs uh, like myself. Uh, number one, you should take care of yourself. And, you know, this could apply to all personality types, but it's very specific to ENFP. And uh, I'll tell you why. Because ENFPs tend to care for everybody and everything. I care for that leaf that just fell off the tree outside. I care for my dog that is attacking me right now and won't leave me alone. I, I have so much feelings and so much to give. You know, I just want to love and I want others to know that they are loved. The cost of this is that you can take care of other people and other things so much to the extent that you stop taking care of yourself. And whether that's, you know, you let yourself go in a physical way or mental way, but you're just going to get burnt out. The fact of the matter is, is you think you have an unlimited amount of energy and an unlimited amount of time and you don't, right? We're human too. ENFPs still need that time to relax, right? We still need that downtime and it can't only be when you're sleeping, right? So take that time, take those extra minutes or take a section out of the day and just make it for yourself, you know, explore yourself, take some time to read a book, explore an activity, um, you know, take that time to work out. It's very, very important because you'll find that if you take that small amount of time to take care of yourself, you are more capable of taking on other activities and other people throughout the day, knowing that, you know, you've got yourself figured out first, right? The second tip is learn to filter out the negative. So ENFPs, of course, like myself, like we're very emotionally driven, right? If, if people want to talk about their feelings, you know, their relationship troubles, you know, trials, tribulations, anything like that, I'm all ears, I'm focused, I'm ready to go because this is a person sharing who they are with me. They're sharing emotions. I can sympathize with them. I can empathize. It's great. We're really good at that. But that comes at a cost. So being so perceptive of being so, you know, focused in on just the emotions, I am, and most ENFPs are very perceptive and we're very affected by negative emotions. So if I'm walking into a room without anyone even saying anything, I can read people's expressions. I can kind of get a sense for how everyone in the room is feeling. And if there's one negative person in there, it could very negatively impact me. I could let his negativity impact myself. So how you do that is you need to block out the negative or more importantly, you need to filter out the negative. In life, you know, there are going to be negative people they, you cannot avoid them, whether it's in the workplace, at home, maybe a close friend, a friend of a friend, there are going to be negative people out there. And it's, it's frustrating because I think personally that being negative is just the easy way out. That's just your first reaction. You know, maybe the bus is late to picking you up. Ah, this really sucks, right? You're, you're instantly thinking of the negative. It's just, it's just easier that way. To be positive, on the other hand, takes a little bit extra time. Or if it's more automatic, it, it becomes easier, right? And that's not saying that you need to be happy 24-7 because, <laughs> quite honestly, those people are crazy. But at the same time, you don't need to express that negativity. You don't need to voice it right you can you can keep it inside yourself and that's my tip for those negative people for the ENFPs out there that don't want to be affected by negative emotions it's very simple you are in control of yourself and no one else other people can influence you and you can influence other people but no one controls you you have absolute control over yourself and in fact other people's emotions should not affect you in the slightest. That is very hard for an ENFP to understand. And I'll give you guys an example, right? So if you're watching this, whoever's watching this video, I am in the next couple of seconds going to think of negative things about you. Ready? Here we go. Did you get any of that? Did you get any of what I was thinking? No because those are just my thoughts. Now, I could voice things too. I could say, you know, you're lazy, you're ugly, and I don't mean that, but I'm just saying that. But again, that's just, that's just me. I'm just another person, right? 
We both have the same value. No one else has more value on this earth than you. Doesn't matter about wealth, social status, you know, really strong personality, none of it matters. We all have the same value. And if that's the case, if other people want to voice negative opinions, you can voice positive. Or rather, you can confront that negativity and say, hey, you know what? Yeah, it sucks you have to take on that project by yourself, but you know what? Let's be positive about it. Let's impact this environment in a positive way because you being negative right now is affecting me. If that still doesn't work, you can ignore those people. Simple as that. Number three, ENFPs need to explore their creative side. And it may not be the case for all ENFPs, but I know for myself, I have a lot of creativity, I have a lot of ideas, and it's great, that's what I'm good at. I'm not good at structured environments as much because I feel like that limits my creativity, right? I want, <laughs> I want unlimited creativity to do whatever I can, to do whatever you know, comes to mind. What's happening in the here and now, you know, new and fresh ideas are very easy for me to come by because there's no rules about it, you know? If the goal is just to have new ideas, oh, I got a new idea every second, but new ideas are cheap. So take that time to explore whatever creative outlet that is. If you really like to talk, maybe start a podcast or maybe a YouTube channel, you know? Explore that a bit, practice with it. And even if you don't, you know, get much success out of it, it doesn't have to be a business, you know? It's just a hobby, just explore creative outlets. If you're really good at drawing, um, you know, start, drawing cartoons or start you know mimicking other artists drawings online right just just practice just take that time explore whatever creative outlet you want if you like making videos do that you know <laughs> those are all the examples for uh, creativity i have right so much for fresh and exi uh, exciting ideas number four is stand up for yourself be confrontational ENFPs are not good at handling conflict. I wish I was better, but I'm just I'm just not. And part of that is that, you know, people pleasing side of us, right? We want everyone to be happy. We want everyone to experience the happiness that we have that comes so naturally. You know, we want to be the positive impact in the room. So every time there's a conflict, we kind of go quiet or we run away. We don't know how to respond to that. And we definitely don't want to be the one injecting negativity into the world. But I found that when you do that, when you don't contribute, it's it's actually detrimental in the long run as well. Just staying silent is bad. Again, remember, you have as much value as anyone else. ENFPs, hey, we're great at being positive. That's good. Use that to your advantage. In a negative situation, or if you've conflict with one of your friends, a spouse, whoever you're in a relationship with, anybody, be confrontational. Ask those questions. Say, hey, what's going on? Or say, hey, what did I do? You know, what, what can I do to assist with this? You know, what, what's, the, what's the big problem going on? And a lot of the times, people just want to be heard out, right? That one negative guy in the office, maybe he just wants to be heard. Now, at the same time, don't let it be that he knows you're always going to listen to him and be receptive to his problems because he might rely on that. Just let him know, hey, I'm going to hear you out, but like, I, I can't be, you know, I, I'm just, you know, I'm just myself, right? I, I want there to be a solution. There should be an end goal to this. If this is just complaining 24 seven, I'm out of here, right? That go see a therapist. That's not what we're here for in the workplace. That's not a cohesive experience for everybody. But ENFPs especially, be patient, right? Hear people out. It's okay if other people are gonna be negative. If they just wanna be heard out, you know, that's where real progress can come. Confrontation is good. People should disagree. Encourage disagreement, right? Go dive right into it. If you're afraid, just just spit it out. Just say what the elephant in the room is, and you'll find that 90% of the time, things can be worked out by simple communication, something we're great at. But with confrontation and with negative emotions, it gets a little tricky. We tend to get too, too excitable. Again, just calm down, be realistic about it. It's hard for us to be realistic, but just try. So hopefully some of these tips were helpful to you. I just found out looking at my notes that I only gave four tips and I said I would give five. So number five off the top of my head is stay positive, stay smiling, 
Be true to yourself. Be true to who you are. Have a good day, guys. Thanks.